When working with dates in Excel, it's very important you realize that Excel and humans see dates differently. So just to show you what this means, you'll see I've got some dates. And what I've done is I've subtracted the numbers. So how many days from the 1st of January to the 31st of January? So humans tend to say 31. A computer, and Excel in particular, will say 30. The reason for this is because Excel uses the start or end of the day consistently. So the end of the first to the end of the 31st is 30 days. But humans tend to go first to 31st, the beginning of the 1st of January, to the end of the 31st of January. So that's not consistent. So just be careful. If you want to see 31 days, for example, in January, you either need to compare it to the 31st of the previous month, so that it's going from the end of the day to the end of the day, or you need to look at potentially adding, and sometimes depending on what you're doing, subtracting one day. So when you're working with dates in Excel, very important you consider, what do I mean when I say 1st of January? Beginning of the day, end of the day, similar with this one, and just check that it's making sense to you.